Welcome, welcome, welcome back to Mega Man X5. I'm your host, Link the Bass Zero, and last time, guys, we got the Orbiter Wing from the Skyver. We had to fight the Repla Force again. That's never a fun little battle, but we were able to get we were able to get a few new abilities, and we ganged, and we actually were able to finally access not necessarily access, but we were finally able to build the part that's gonna make that's gonna make this game a little bit easier when we officially get it. The jump, the jump part, which is going to make our jumps a little bit fucking higher. So, with that said, guys, we're going to jump right back in, and we're going to continue this story, and we're going to see where it takes us. Emergency! Emergency! Dynamo has come back here to attack! What on earth does he want? Well, it doesn't matter. We have to fight him. Okay. We're going to go after Dynamo now. Last time we fought him with X. This time, <laughs> we've got Zero on our side. Let's do this. Actually, hold on. Zero actually gained Shot Eraser. <laughs> so let's go then, shall we? This is gonna be fun. Let's go, Dynamo. I'll show you the power of my blade. Come on! <laughs> Jetta! <laughs> Here we go again. Nice to see you again! Did you miss me? Stop pestering me, Don. Stop pestering me, Dynamo. I won't allow you to escape this time. You can't retire me no matter how hard you try. I'll give you a little advice. You, Sigma, everybody is always too hot when they fight. But not me. I'm the coolest and wisest of all. If you can't understand, then I'll just have to show you. Come on and fight me. Dumbass! You do realize I'm not using a shot weapon, right? Next time, learn your fighter! Huh. So... You are strong! I fought seriously this time. Anyway... I'd need nine lives if I stuck with you. So... I'll leave no more games. I'll leave. No more games. You should think about your future, too. Or you'll die someday. I'm getting out of here. Because I don't want to die. <laughs> At least not right now. Adios. Okay, so... Ha! <laughs> we got it then! We jumped right back up to our ass rank! And we got the antivirus guard. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and save the data here. We're gonna continue working, cause fuck it, we're not gonna stop. We're not gonna stop right here! Why the fuck would we stop right here? God damn it! Okay, continue the game. Okay. Before we continue, I'm gonna go ahead and equip X with the antivirus guard. I don't think we're gonna do it with any of the weapons with the with the armor bar. I'm gonna do it with default X just because default X is gonna be doing it. Okay, next person we're gonna be going after is Matrix because his uh, his weapon or his weakness is the same move you guys were seeing me against use, use against Dynamo. If you watched the last episode, it should look pretty familiar. Basically, it's the same move Pegasus used, where literal if I'm dashing with zero, when I'm dashing with zero, if I attack while dashing. I send out, a, I send out a, basically a small clone 
and that clone attacks for me. And it basically does the exact same thing to Matrix that I just did to Dynamo. So it basically makes Matrix a joke if you use his weapon, if he uses weapons. Problem is, getting to him is what's gonna fucking suck. Okay, let's do this. Burn Dino Rex. This fucking level. This is the this is the arbitrary lava level of any Mega Man game. If you touch the lava, you die. There's a ro there's a rocket booster engine in this lava area. Watch out for the lava and proceed with air. If you touch the lava, you'll be instantly vaporized. Come on. Damage on that fucking fire. I forgot how much damage that fire fucking does. It fucking sucks, man. And if you guys were wondering, if you guys are wondering what I just equipped, that's Darkhold. This level, our Dark Hold actually serves a double purpose, if I remember correctly. You can actually activate it on the lava down below and stop it from flowing. Wait, there's a lot of lava below us, but we have no choice but to proceed this way. The lava comes at fixed intervals. Be mindful of the timing and proceed. Watch below you. It's too hot. Wait until the lava is gone. Then go down. No, it doesn't. Okay, the lava does not stop. Okay. Good to know. Go before the next lava comes, quick! Can you see the rock over there? The temperature is lower than the other side of the rock. If you take advantage of the of the rock, you may be able to avoid the armor. lava. Wait behind the rock when the lava comes, then proceed with care. Damn it! I knew it was coming. It was a it was a it was a gamble, guys. It was a gamble. I went for that life life thing. There's only one way to survive the lava in this area, and that's if you have the Giga armor with X. The Giga Armor is, allows you to survive it just like if you were to, to survive spikes. You literally can just stand inside the lava, if I'm thinking correctly. I might be completely wrong about that, but I believe that's how it works. I'm going to go ahead and stop here. Now here's the dip, here's the key thing right here. You have to, you have to wait for the lava to fucking destroy those barricades. Which makes this a little bit tricky sometimes. This is why Zero is actually a very useful person to be using in this part. All because of the fact that he could double jump. 
which makes getting to these areas a little bit easier. And duck down. Let's move. Destroy the door in front of you. And you'll be able to proceed to another area. And we're not gonna trip we're not gonna try it. We're just gonna fucking move. And part two. Okay! You guys remember Magma Dragoon? We're basically doing the exact same shit, except this time we don't get to take the we don't get to take the ride armor with us. Well, this area is kind of like this, like a sea of lava. The pro bright armor should probably endure the heat of the lava. Our path divides. You can oh, you can go this way, or you can take the other way down below. If you go down, you'll have to go through the lava area. If you go this way, you'll be free from lava, but you can proceed, but you can't proceed with the ride armor because a huge block blocks the way. Which way will you choose? The decision is yours. I always go down only because of the fact that going up you have to fight a mini boss or you kind of have to fight a mini boss and trying to fight the mini boss over the lava sometimes will get you killed. But this place, this area is just as dangerous because if the ride armor gets destroyed, it's instant death. So you have to be very cautious of who... You have to be very cautious. We do it this way. Because if you're, because you, you, as long as you, as long as you're able to take out the ride armor before they can deal any real damage, this path is actually relatively safe. Just like that, we get the Giga Armor. We get the Giga Armor arm parts. This part, if you don't know what you're fucking doing, will lead to so many fucking deaths. Basically, you have to jump out of the lava, and then jump out of the mech, and have a nut, and, ho and, and you have to land on the dry land. This is the program for the arm part, the God of the Gay Armor. Analyze and upload the data to X's main memory, a secure area. Once X uploads all four of the programs, the Gaia Armor, the Gaia Armor will be complete. With the arm pod equipped, X can attack with the Gaia Shot. While the range of the Gaia Shot is short, it's powerful and can neutralize the enemy's energy bullets. Also, it allows X to break a certain brick. Please tell X that he can push or attack the bricks by dashing. Jumping through. Come on. Here we go. Slice. 
slice. Why, why did you come here, Zero? So the Maverick Terminator's here. Does this mean it's time for me to die? No, no. I just came for the boat booster engine. <laughs> That's not all you want! From me, is it, Hunter? You want to take my life, don't you? You want to fight me, don't you? If you insist, I accept your I accept your challenge. Bring it on, Sinister Hunter! Oh, come on. Gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> Gotta love the invincible dash. Okay, I got a little cocky there. Like, he's not easy. I may have made it sound like he was fucking easy, but he's not. He's not easy to fight, but his his weapon, or his weapon weakness, actually does a shit ton of fucking damage. Jump at me again. Gotcha. Come on, do it again. Gotcha, bitch. Come on. Got you. Come on! I accept your challenge, and I beat you at your own game. But I'll be honest with you, you were a tough fight. <laughs> I'll be honest, you were a pretty tough fight. And go ahead and skip through all this. <sighs> okay. Now Matrix actually gives us two pa two parts, both of which kind of don't really are really not going to fucking help us. Um we have the speed shot that gives us faster shots and the Buster Plus which gives us more powerful shots with X. Literally they're both X parts. It's just literally what which one's going to be better for. Frankly, I'm gonna I'm just gonna take the life energy instead of the fucking Buster Plus, only because the life energy, it it'll affect it'll affect us and it's it's a double it's a two for one. The energy the energy boost, while it would be nice to have a little bit more energy, we always want there more life allows us to survive a little bit longer, and we can always deal damage with our primary attacks. So. It's not like in other games where if we lose our weapon, we're fucked. No, in this, in this, our primary weapon does just as much damage as all of our sub weapons do. Nine times out of ten, it just takes, it'll just take a little bit longer for us to fight the enemy. Plus, the main bad guy is only weak against, the main bad guy is kind of, kind of sucks against everything but the primary attack. So, we're going to be jump. we're going to be grabbing uh, the life energy, ground fire and quake blazer. Arm Parts G and the Booster Engine. 
And there's the jumper part. Now the striking power of the shuttle. Now the striking power of the shuttle will be increased. There seems to be some more useful weapons lying around here. But I don't think you have time to investigate. Evacuate before you get sucked into the lava. Okay, guys. Like always, we're going to go ahead and call it quits right here. So, like always, have a wonderful day, morning, evening, and night. And remember to stay insane! Link to the past, zero, out.